Teeny PNG is one of the most popular image optimization WordPress plugins there. It supports JPEG, PNG, JPG, WebP, and any type of image format to optimize. This plugin automatically optimizes all your website images even while you are uploading something. Image optimization also makes your website load faster. That's why most website speed boosting experts use image optimization plugins. This plugin is being used on more than 200k websites around the world. Also, it comes with many good reviews too. You can read all the features they are providing, like WooCommerce support, multi site support, etc. One of the reasons why Teeny PNG is so much popular is it compresses your images four or five times smaller, but still, it gives you almost the same quality image. Here is an example. The original image and Teeny PNG compressed image look the same. Even the original image is almost three times larger. Also, this plugin supports compressing animated PNG for your sites. So, this time we will install and use this amazing plugin for this website. You see, this is an e-commerce website, where many images has been attached. We will compress all the images now. First, go to the dashboard. Click Add New under the Plugin section. Search Teeny PNG. It will appear first. Install and activate this. You can set up the plugin settings by clicking here. To register with Teeny PNG, write the username and your email address here. And click on register account. An email has been sent to activate your account. Let's check our mail. After checking your mail, you will find an email from Tinify. Click activate your account. They will redirect you to their website. And now Teeny PNG API is ready to use. If you refresh the page you will see your account is connected in a tick mark. This means your website is ready to use Teeny PNG WordPress plugin. If you still see this warning, then click on this link to solve it. Here you see, we are on a free plan, which gives us 500 compressions per month. So, let's set up this plugin for our site. I will elaborate on all the options for you. New image upload. When should a new image be compressed? Compress new images in the background, which means after uploading a new image it will automatically compress your images in the background. No additional work requires. Compressing new images during uploads takes a longer time of processing. And the third option is, do not to compress new images automatically. Here you need to compress each image manually. I recommend selecting the first option from here. It will make image compression easier. Next, come to image sizes. You will see many image dimensions here. If you are having a blog site, then you will see fewer options. Here is one thing to say. When you upload a single image, WordPress converts it into many dimensions. I prefer to select only original images, thumbnail, medium and large dimensions. This will give you the opportunity to compress more images. You see I can compress 125 images per month now, as a free user. Resize the original image is unnecessary here, it replaces the original image with this dimension. You can avoid it, there have some more options too, like preserving creation date and time, copyright information, GPS location, etc. If your website is about photography or online storage, then you can enable all of them. Press save changes. 
To compress all the old images of your website, go to Bulk Optimization. You see the small stat about your website images. 36 uploaded images are there. None of them are optimized. To optimize all the images in a single click, tap on Start Bulk Optimization. Image compression is started. Look, most of the images are compressed by more than 50%. Bulk optimization is done. Let's make a new upload. Click Add New. Selecting a high-quality image. You see, the image size is more than 1.5 megabytes. Uploading this. Now we will check the compressed size of this. See, the compression in the background is working silently. The compression is not finished yet. Wait a few moments. Done. See. The image size is now 414 kilobytes. More than 70% reduced. Still, the image quality is fine. That makes teeny PNG different from others. So, that's the tutorial on teeny PNG WordPress plugin. If you have any questions or issues, then feel free to ask me through the comment section.